Hi everybody, welcome back to The Moose. So, now that you know um, the formula for, the, for the, minor, the minor chords now, now you can go ahead and form all of the 12 minor chords um, uh, along the neck of the five string banjo. Since you know what the, uh, all the notes on the fingerboard are, and uh, knowing this formula, you can um, form all your minor chords. Remember, the root is not going to change wh whether you're in the uh, fourth string position, second string position, or the third string position. Your root's not going to change. And again, remembering um, where the, what, what, the, what the numbers are on the major chord, that uh, just flatting that third degree, uh, wherever you see that three, flatting that's going to give you your minor chord. Now it'd be good to practice as well, uh, just as in your major chords, uh, practice the full position um, chords to get the feel of them, maybe vamp along. To get the feel of uh, those, those new formations now in the closed uh, chord positions. And it'd be also be good to um, just to practice these in three note uh, configurations with the three fingers of your right hand. And when we come up to the second string position, it'd be good to finger this with the three note um, chords with these triads like this, like you see here. So this, this G minor, I have my index just behind the 7th, and my um, second string is fretted just behind the 8th with my uh, middle finger, and the first string is fretted just behind the 8th with the ring uh, finger. And that frees up our pinky uh, later on, uh, working on some of these Scruggs licks and other things to fret, to fret with that pinky. Okay, so that's good to remember that there. And also we can um, drop it down to the fourth, uh, third, and second strings in that position. Again, get the minor sound out of the, out of the fourth, uh, third, and second strings. Again, it's freeing up, it's freeing up our pinky to do other things later on down the road. And again, the same up at the third string position. You can free it up like that. Free that pinky up using that formation with those three fingers. And also on the, on the fourth, um, fourth, third, and second, just like you see there. And just using that formation, I'm going to go down to just the E minor, just to show you. So you can see how using those three um, three fingers, like we have there, uh, even though that's a major, uh, how Earl played that as a major chord using this formation still on that minor, you can see how that's going to come in handy uh, later on using this. And I'm going to be explaining about that um, right away as well, which is uh, pentatonic scales. We're using the pentatonic scales between um, majors and relative minors. We can do so much uh, with that within bluegrass. But for right now, I'd like you to work on the minor chords and get them under your fingers. And uh, again, if you have any questions about anything, any of this, you're always free to, uh, to ask me in the forums or private message me on the moose. So I'll leave it there for you to work on your minor chords, everybody. And we'll see you next time right here on the moose. That's musicmoose.org. <laughs>